It's working. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love technology. So, hey, guys. Don't think we have anyone in yet because I did not announce that we were going live. My upload schedule is just a little wonky right now. I ended up taking yesterday just to myself. Um, so that's why there was no video. And then uh, today I was supposed to um, <laughs> upload a video, but I decided I still had some stuff I wanted to just unbox. And then USPS kind of... Delayed some of my shipments due to probably COVID. Um, so some of my stuff that I was supposed to receive uh, today um, is going to be pushed out. So my whole upload schedule is just a mess right now. Um, hey, love yourself. How are you? Thank you for joining. Sorry I didn't um, post a, uh, a post that I was going to go live. Hey, Deb. Thanks for joining. Yeah, so this is just a spontaneous where I just want to unbox, kind of get back on track. So there will be a video up tomorrow. Um, I actually wanted to tease the makeup look. Everything is well. Thank you. How are you doing today? Hope you had a nice Memorial Day weekend. Um, so, um, but I actually, my eye got irritated um, <laughs> during the video. You'll see why if you watch tomorrow's video. But it has to do... If I can get it without stuff falling. Look what finally came in the mail. Yes, we got the Mulan collection. Thanks, Deb. I actually have two things on my lips. I have the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade Date Night. I got this in a BoxyCharm. And then I'm testing out a Persona gloss that I got during 21 Days of Beauty over it. Um, it's funny, before, the, before I went live, I kept getting stuck in my teeth. I'm like, how does this always happen? <laughs> how does lipstick just end up there? Um, so yeah, we're just going to unbox and we'll have the Mulan video go up tomorrow. If USPS comes through and I get my, um, my delivery tomorrow, we'll have a very exciting video on Thursday. My days are kind of thrown off because of Memorial Day, the three-day weekend. Um, so hopefully um, that will work out. If not, I do have some older footage of a palette <laughs> uh, that I do want to get up eventually because I loved it. I really wanted to share the look with you guys. I had so much fun doing that video. Um, but yeah, so I also just want to say really quick when I was going live, getting everything set up, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much because my channel is got accepted to the monetization program. So I'm very excited to figure that out after this. So I will start having some ads rolling through on my videos. I'm so, so excited and cannot thank you guys enough for helping me achieve my goal. You know, I really thought that the watch time was going to take forever, but you guys have been super awesome and amazing and supportive. So that is just a huge milestone. There have been so many different times where I wanted to quit YouTube. Like I can't tell you how many times like I would go through really bad slumps because you see your sub count going up, down, and then you look at your watch time, and you think you're never going to get it there. But meeting so many amazing friends on this journey has been keeping me motivated, pushing through. And I just really enjoy making videos for you guys, just acting goofy. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much. That means so much to me. Love yourself, Deb. I'm very, very excited. And um, so I'm going to be finally hosting my 1K giveaway. I know we are slowly creeping up on 2K, but I still want to do a 1K giveaway. And then I'm thinking of doing a monetized giveaway as well, just because those are two big milestones that I really want to celebrate and giving back to you guys. Hey, Tishia, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, so those two giveaways will be coming soon. So hopefully I can get my 1K giveaway up this week. And then I need to plan out what the monetized giveaway will be. Um, I know I want that to be special. I, I want both of them to be special because they're both so amazing. And I just have so many boxes and goodies for you guys and maybe some more goodies in these boxes right here. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Samantha. How are you guys? 
<laughs> I know at first I wanted this to be like uh, unboxing attempt part two, but we're also celebrating being monetized. So there's just a lot going on right now. So I hope I can figure that stuff out. I know Griffin was really excited before we went live. So um, yeah, so stay tuned for some giveaways coming up. Um, it looks like we'll have a 2K giveaway coming up soon. Um, so I'm excited for that. Just all the giveaways. I know we could all use some fun stuff going on right now because I know getting a little stir crazy inside, but it's okay. Okay, so we're going to start off with Allure. Um, Allure kind of messed up my billing in April, so I missed out on Allure's box. I was so upset, but it's okay. May worked out. I don't know why. It j Allure just said that your credit card wasn't accepted, but I got all my other boxes, so I don't know. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Oh, thanks, Michelle. I am so excited for reaching the milestone as well. Oh, Samantha, it's supposed to be raining all week here this week. Hey, Jackie, how are you? We are unboxing, and I am officially now monetized. <laughs> Thank you. I have two lipsy, uh, lipsticks, on, well, a gloss as well. I have the Dose of Colors and then a Persona gloss. And then I have the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette on the eyes. Hi, Gina. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> I am so glad you're here for making the live. I know I meant to send out a notification, but I wasn't sure because I was having to flush out my eye having glitter in it. So I almost like stopped the live and then I saw that like the monetize went through. So I'm like, ah, I gotta like just go on live, celebrate with everyone. Thank you, Jackie. Girl, you know, you have been such a huge help getting here. I appreciate you and everyone so much. And Jackie, you know I wanted to give up, but you helped me push through. A heat wave. Oh, no. I used to live in Florida, so I feel you on the heat waves with the humidity. Thank you, Gina. I hope so. Hey, Manders. Yes, Jackie, you do got me. I will probably have some questions about the monetization stuff. Because <laughs> I'm just like, oh, what do I do now? So I have to like go set up and make sure I have everything rolling smooth. Oh, thank you. I love you guys too. That is why I kept pushing through and then it just kept ticking. Like the grind started paying off and just keep meeting new people. It's just so much fun and rewarding. Oh, yay! Your boxy pop-up finally is shipping. You know, I don't know where my second order be. <laughs> Thank you, Manders. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, Jackie. I really appreciate that because I'm going to be lost trying to figure this out. <laughs> Thank you, Tishia. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Like, I'm, like, still, like, speechless and still processing that it finally happened. <laughs> we we needed some, po like, I really needed something positive to come out during quarantine. 2020 in general, it's just been a crap year on so many different levels. So this is, like, the one true positive. Hey! Oh! <laughs> hey, everyone! Ah, thank you for everyone jumping in. Thank you. The lipstick is a Dose of Colors and Persona Gloss Duo. I love how juicy it looks. <laughs> I am speechless. <laughs> Wait, Jackie, your stuff hasn't shipped yet? We ordered, like, the same time. <laughs> I, got, I got one of mine. I don't know where the second one where I went back. Maybe BoxyCharm was just like, nope, you didn't need it. <laughs> Yes, Dose Date Night from what we got in BoxyCharm. And then this is a Persona Gloss that I got during 21 Days of biz uh, Business. 21 Days of Beauty. Uh, it's the Hibiscus Gloss. That's why I started saying like 21 Days of Business. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love a good red. They are like some of my favorite lip shades. Regular box. What is up with BoxyCharm? <laughs> Yikes. Okay. The big pop-up order. So you're waiting on your big order. I'm waiting on my small order. Hopefully they get it together. 
Speaking of small order, Allure. <sighs> I always feel like a magician unboxing this because I'm like, for my next trick, <laughs> um, we're just going to throw trash. And then we got this card. I don't know. What do you guys feel about colored mascara? I could never get into it. <laughs> they always email it shipped and get it in the mail. That, huh. Who knows what BoxyCharm, like, I did not even get an email about my Ipsy shipping, and it just showed up. <laughs> and then um, when I go onto my Ipsy page, it says, your glam bag is on its way to you due to COVID. It may be delayed. Hey, Nicole, how are you? You're cheap, <laughs> Jackie, because you're unboxing. Yeah, I didn't want to wait for the small one either. Otherwise, I would have never posted my haul. Jackie, if you try a blue mascara, let me know. That's like the only color I really want to try because I feel like every other color might just look eh on me. Shelly, you love blue mascara? Yes! I need to see ah, which one. Which one? I just need to like look and find one. <laughs> Who's going to clean up my mess? Griffin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> He he destroys the beauty room. Like, he'll knock stuff over. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, thank you. No, please do a live. They are so much fun. This is my second one. <laughs> and we're just having a blast in the comments. We're unboxing, celebrating. Ooh, Nicole, which colored mascara? And then, Shelly, what brand do you use, too? Because I am very curious. I tried a Maybelline one in college, and maybe it was because it was in that pink uh, tube with the green cap, and I was just kind of like, eh, about it. <laughs> Griffin. Um. <laughs> well, I do shed, so it kind of needs to be vacuumed in here. Wink, wink. <laughs> Love Samantha. Oh, I forget about ColourPop having colored mascara. <laughs> I wonder if they have a bundle because they had like that really cool teal one, I think, too. Dollar Tree. I miss the Dollar Tree. That's where I get so much fun stuff. Okay, Shelly. Yes. So we have. So with Allure, I got an email about one product. I'm trying to get it out. It's the Curology. It says something was mislabeled, so we put in your email and address, and they're supposed to send you a replacement, but I'm not sure. So I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, because it didn't really go into detail what was mislabeled. I don't know if it's the expiry date or what. Do, do you, any of you guys have a lore? Do you guys know what was mislabeled? I'm, I have concerns. <laughs> I wanted the bundle. Oh, okay, so they do have a bundle. ColourPop's bundles go like that. Like, I remember Black Friday, I was trying to get some, and by the time I hit checkout, it said, items are no longer in your cart. The hell. <laughs> yes, ColourPop has so many bundles, Nicole. So many. Back in... Okay, Deb. Blue mascara back in the day. Clear brow gel. I don't see one in here, but... Oh, wait. Was that an item? Because I need one. I go through those so quickly. Ulta hasn't had a gift with purchase in a hot minute. That's normally how I stock up. They put the cleanser in the moisture. Oh, okay. So this is a cleanser and not a moisturizer. So they're going to be mailing the moisturizer. Okay. So let's see. Let's... You know, I can see how that can happen. Packaging teen. Okay, so this is the moisturizer. Oh, oh, wait, in the actual tube. Okay, probably during filling. So, <laughs> you know, oopsies happen in manufacturing. I have witnessed some before. I used to work in topicals, being on the manufacturing floor. It happens, you know, a lot. Um, I'm sure the uh, moisturizer and the cleanser are probably in the same exact packaging just one says moisturizer and one says cleanser it says it's a light cream but it might be a cleanser let's see let's investigate here it happens it, it happens more than it should <laughs> oh it kind of just popped out like that let's see
I can't really tell. I think it is a cleanser. Just based off, like, the viscosity and how it's, like, not going into my hand. It's just sitting on top of there. Pretty sure. Yeah, so this is definitely a cleanser, not a moisturizer. All right. Fun to know. <laughs> I know this is why I tested it on my hand. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's definitely a cleanser. Let me just wipe that off on my pants. <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, now I'm kind of sad. I really wanted an ABH clear brow gel. Those are my favorite. I know some people don't like it because it makes your brows like that crunchy feeling, but um, it's hard to tell because I have my brow filled in, but I pick at mine really bad. It's like a very bad anxiety habit. So uh, when I feel that crunch of your brows, I'm like, oh, don't touch it. It's just like that kind of like weird feeling. <laughs> Do I have some? I don't think I have some water. Around. Oh, it has like it has a sticky residue. It's definitely a cleanser. I mean, I always like <laughs> spit on my hand, see if it lathers up. <laughs> hey, Gigi. Hey, food makeup skin. How are you guys? Hey, everyone. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I <laughs> Some people used to make fun of me back in the day from my laugh. So I used to get a little self-conscious about it just because I'm very loud and I will just laugh for a good like 10 minutes straight depending on what really tickles me. So um, I'm glad you guys appreciate it. <laughs> the crunch. Yes, the crunch does make the brow like stop touching the brow. I don't know. There's no other brow gel that really has made my brows feel that crunchy before so that's why I really like that ABH <laughs> so okay so they were right about this being mislabeled so don't try it as a moisturizer <laughs> that's all I gotta say it's probably a cleanser especially if it's all from like the same batch I don't see like a batch code or something maybe B14 DNA <laughs> Is a batch code up here, but we have the Acure Resurfacing Glycolic and Unicorn Root Cleanser. Unicorn Root? <laughs> what if we murder some unicorns just to get something for resurfacing and glycolic? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Crunchy brow kind of scares you. No, don't let it scare. I mean, it scares my finger so I don't pick up my brow. Hey, Ashley, how are you? I did try the Billion Dollar Brow Gel. It didn't work out bad. It set my brow really nice. It didn't give me that crunch effect, so. <laughs> but I don't even know where it is. I did some reorganizing, and I don't know. I did set aside one of the Billion Dollar Brow kits, though, for a giveaway, since I got one in BoxyCharm and one in Ipsy. See, I was, <laughs> last month I was waiting for a lure and then I emailed them. I said, hey, where's April's box? And something messed up with my billing, but Maze is here. So I'm excited to have it. Oh, $12 Ipsy Glam bag. Oh, that was my second subscription box ever. The first one was Birch Box. So I always have like this nostalgic feeling for like the OG Ipsy Glam bag. I don't know. I'm confused why Unicorn Root is part of this, but let's see. It's supposed to resurface, refine, and hydrate all skin types. I think we received a couple of products from Acure before in Allure. Acure. Allure. <laughs> Allure. Thank you, Ashley. I have the Dose of Colors Date Night and the Persona Hibiscus Gloss on top. Thanks, Jackie, for confirming. <laughs> I, I, I think I just set them all aside in my little sample bin, and I just never got around to trying any of them. AHC Essential. Ooh, an eye cream. An eye cream. I could always use some more eye cream because I... Oh, that's a big two for some eye cream. Because I have my old Henriksen, my beloved banana sea eye cream. And I've already gone through half of the jar already. I don't know how, but, oh, real eye cream for your face, though. Okay. But 
eye cream and facial cream. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get all sciencey, but like the skin under your eyes is very delicate compared to like the rest of your skin. So we need some more intense ingredients for under here. So that's cool that it is. But if it's specifically formulated for an eye cream, I'm just going to use it for my eyes. But that might just be me. <laughs> Hey, Jeannie, how are you? Yes. <laughs> Take two trying to get this open. We made it through three products and we tested out to see what was mislabeled in Curology. You just sanitize yours and it says for your face. I'm confused why it would say real eye cream, but for your face. I don't, I'm confused. <laughs> I guess I'll try and see how it works out for both. My under eyes are super dry, so I'll be able to tell the difference. Well, it looks like it's a gel, or is it supposed to be a cream? Or it's just a very light cream. No, it's a gel. <laughs> yeah, it does say uh, real eye cream for the face. Like, why? Yeah, I thought I was un poco loco. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am dead. Up. I am dead. <laughs> I mean, it feels really nice. I mean, it, it's super soft. I don't know. I, I don't know why you would make an eye cream formulated for your whole face. That just sounds weird to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking way too deep in it being a chemist. Yes, I did fill, um, so we have confirmed that this is a cleanser, so, um, I did fill out my email, so hopefully they will send me the moisturizer. <laughs> we'll see if it actually shows up in the mail. Okay, yes, I did get the VDL, Lumilayer Primer. Okay. This, these are decent size. I'm just making a mess all over the place. Let's see. I just don't like squeezy tubes like this because one of the eye creams that we got in Allure way, way back, it kept going all over the place. So I actually ended up wasting so much. Pro oh, wow. Look at that reflect. Well, there's like a purple shift. It might be hard to tell with the lights in here. That's a thick primer. I'd rather be shiny. That's how I feel. <laughs> I needed this primer for my full face of using only highlighters. Girl, that was a mess. <laughs> hey, Jessica, how are you? Do, do not get rid of that VD. Okay, Jeannie, if Jeannie swears by it, it has to be good. Because <laughs> I even dug up Jeannie. After my hated products video that we did i did did <laughs> i did dig this up so i'm still trying to love it <laughs> okay i'll have to see your video genie using this primer because it's scaring me a little bit but it dried out nice you can't even tell oh thank you jessica i appreciate it I got done filming, too. I was um, not supposed to have this look on. My eye actually had a very bad reaction because uh, I got glitter in it. Like, my eye was red all up in the inner corner. So, I actually had to take it off, flush out my eye, and make a new look. And then we got this Skin Ink, my daily dose of glow. So, I think, like, this theme of the box is supposed to be glow. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at those bubbles in there. Almost looks like mold, <laughs> but I know it's not, hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, that's the tea genie. Okay, we'll have to see. Oh, wait, these like little bubbles come out. Oh, oh, that's weird. That is really weird. But they don't have like that bubble crunch like the exfoliators do. Are they just going to stay? Are they going in? They're like standing on my hand. Ooh, that is a thick... What is this again? I already forgot. Oh, it doesn't... Illuminate and glow. 
Okay, I think it's a serum. Thank you, Jessica. It is the Dose of Colors Date Night, and then I have a Persona gloss on top of it. It's my first time trying Persona. I'm obsessed. I bought all four shades of glosses uh, during 21 Days of Beauty and obsessed. Obsessed. Ooh. Yes. Oh, well, it's a very wet serum. Like my, it's still sitting on top of my hand. I didn't think I dispensed out that much, but it's just chilling. So I was a lore all skincare this month because now I have a face mask by Wen. I actually bought a couple of Wen masks from Boxy Add-ons. They had like a purple, blue, and a pink jar of masks. Love Allure too. Oh, bye, Ashley. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Biocellulose sheet mask. You get one in it. When you need a fabulous base for flawless skin, prepare with one glamour base. Okay. To help to help your skin look smooth and firm. Could use a little bit of firmness. <laughs> okay. Well. I think Allure was pretty good, minus Cureology messing up in the manufacturing suite <laughs> with their components, but I think it was a pretty solid box. All right. I love all the skincare. Wait, does it really have Denature alcohol in this mask? Why in a sheet mask? That, like, completely cancels out the benefits in here. Yes. I would definitely try Allure. I mean, you can't beat it for $15. Plot twist, if you if you um, go to cancel, they'll tell you, hey, your next two months can each be $12 each, and then so you can get it for $12 uh, for both the next two months, and then it'll go back to $15, but if you just go and call again that you want to cancel, they can extend it for another two months, so like, I think... That, that's what I ended up doing. Maybe that's why my billing got messed up in April. <laughs> so May's was $12. June is $12. If I forget to call for July, July will go back to $15. But if I try to extend it, July and August could also be $12. <laughs> Jackie, we love the $12. <laughs> hey, I think they're desperate to keep people on because of all these other boxes coming out. So I will use that $12 deal. Yes, sheet masks. Uh, Jessica, check out Face Tori. Um, I've heard about them through Genie, and now I'm obsessed with Face Tori. I get both of their subscriptions. Um, on Mondays, they do dollar sheet masks, so I go crazy then. So I just stock up on the sheet masks then. Yes, Deb, we're on the same wavelengths of Face Tori. Yes. I agree, Gigi. I really liked how Allure was very skin heavy because I get so many other boxes that are very makeup heavy, so it's nice to change it up a bit. I hope Allure has more full sizes. I'm very impressed. You know, like, this looks a lot bigger. I mean, it's 1.01 fluid ounces, so, like, that's very exciting. This serum, I think, is, like, 60-something dollars, if I recall. I saw the June spoilers. It looks very promising as well. Yes! I know. I get so behind on boxes too, Jess. That's why I couldn't make a dedicated video to all these. So we're just going to unbox on a live. And I have so many other boxes that came in so late that I want to save for another live as well. Okay. Now I have Bijou. I'm holding it weird because my address is on the other side. Ah! Oh, stay safe, Amanda. That is so sweet. I love Bijou. It's... It's more expensive than BoxyCharm. You get more indie brands, but um, they run a lot of promotions as well to save on your first box or an annual subscription. So it makes it worth it. And the total retail of our box is $82.97 this month. Yes, Allure looks so good. Yes, Shelly, get Allure again. Allure offered a perfume as a free gift to sign back up. Oh, that's awesome. 
I know I'm always on my subscription addiction. That's how I decided to like cancel lore if it was going to be like a crappy month and then I signed back up. So <laughs> the spoilers got me and all these new full sizes it got me. I could not resist for $15. Hey, Shorty Baby, how are you? Thanks for joining. Yes. Oh, they already have July spoilers out? I need to see. <laughs> yes, Gigi, you will love Face Tori. It is so good. Wait, I want the personalized box. What is that? I need to see what that is, Jackie. Ooh, that's such a great deal. $100 for 12 months for Bijou, Nicole. That is awesome. Let's see what do we get. Oh, so I actually knew one of the products that we were getting in Bijou. It's this Ruby May Cosmetics Pop Zombie Palette. And I already own it. So y'all know what that means. When I get my life together for the 1K giveaway as well. Drum roll. The monetized giveaway will probably either have this in it. So one of the giveaways, we just got to make sure that there is nothing broken in y'all's. Okay. And it looks nice and good. So whoop, just going to get the plastic back in. So one of y'all will be winning a Ruby May palette. Just got to set it over there with all the other stuff. Yes, Jackie, two giveaways. Two giveaways. I know, I'm I'm so behind. But ColourPop, my ColourPop order finally came in and had a bunch of stuff as well. So we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> yes, Nicole, this palette is so pretty. Oh, that is creamy. Very creamy. Oh, look at those. So pretty. My hand is still wet from that serum, by the way. Ooh, that's a funky color. I love that. That is cool. What was that shade again? Corpse. Yes. Okay, I'm just trying to grab some makeup wipes. Struggling. They had a Memorial Day sale too. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That Bijou runs so many different sales and they are quite new too i think they've been a box for a, over a year now because they, they had some anniversary boxes i missed out on those yes genie face story also sends a product as well and we got bonus masks in april and may because you normally get i think seven so we got eight sheet masks plus the bonus product as well love that this is a very creamy palette Yes. Jeannie, I loved your video on the Norvina 4. This palette is super creamy. And I'm not really as big into neons. But those are pigmented. Ooh, that pink is going to stain. I can feel it now. It's a very bright palette, Gigi. Yes. And they also have like more indie brands in their boxes. That's why I really like Bijou. And their customer service is on point. Like the first box I got, I had a busted shade and they ran out of inventory. Um, so I was able to keep my palette that I got and I got another palette. So it was really nice of how they accommodated as well. Hey, Heather, how are you? Thank you for joining. We're doing some swatches on the zombie palette that I got in Bijou. And since I already have this one, one is going to go to you guys. And Jackie, this rose for you. The blues. Okay. Beautiful. Such fun, bright color. This is great for summer. And I know I've been seeing a bunch of um, like festival looks going around. So I feel like this palette would be perfect for that. <laughs> Bijou is every month, Gigi. So it is on the pricier side of it. I kind of like how Tribe is bi-monthly. Because um, on the opposite months, I get test tube. <laughs> <coughs> Aw. 
Which palette did you get in your April that was messed up, Nicole? I still haven't unboxed my April one. <laughs> I was saving it for another live <laughs> to unbox all the other stuff I just never got around doing. Hey, name to it in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, and another product we got by Car Beauty. We got some lashes. I have been living for lashes. I actually have some like natural lashes on today from ColourPop, and I'm living for them. So these would be for like a nice dramatic look. So excited for that. Eyeshadow is kind of creasing, but it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, we have another product by Ruby May, and we have the Drama Queen Mascara. Oh, the Weed Queen Palette. Okay. I think I got a palette, name that, in my Glow Attic. It sounds familiar. What eyeshadow? I used the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 Palette today. I just did a neutral look with a pop of blue on the lower lash. I thought I had Q-tips on deck, but I don't know. My left eye is just giving me so many issues today. It was the one that was red uh, from some glitter. <laughs> and now we're creasing, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> but this is what the mascara looks like. Let's see if it has a good wand. Okay. There's a little bit of clump at the tip, but it reminds me of... It's only creasing because I do got my wrinkles from grad school. I'm just kidding. Not grad school. Undergrad. From uh, PCHEM. PCHEM, Quant, All Nighters. Yeah. <laughs> it's only creasing like right here in the crow's feet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's not creasing on my lid. Just, just in my wrinkles. I do got some wrinkles from my age. <laughs> I'm in denial. I'm sorry. We got a NYX eyeliner. A cosmic gel liner. That sounds fancy. If I can open... Oh, there's glitters on it. Wait, I'm not really good with pot um, eyeliners like this. I'm just destroying the box because I cannot get this open to save my life. Is this new? I didn't even know NYX had something like this. Let's see. Looks a little cracked in there. Hopefully, that doesn't mean it's drying out. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Nicole. I appreciate that you're still here. Let's see. Do I have... Mm, nope. I don't really keep my eyeliner. Oh, well, here's a brow pencil. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been trying to get rid of these wrinkles, but I'm just embracing them. <laughs> And it's always hard for me to smoke out my lower lash because it will start creasing just from the wrinkles. Let's see how this eyeliner looks. Stop it. I know. I'm I'm harsh on myself. That's why I'm always like eye creams that say get rid of wrinkles. Ooh, that's a pretty eyeliner. I don't know how often I would use it. But I feel like it's going to dry out super fast. Hopefully not. X's. On the back of your hand. I feel like I'm a seeing emo kid again. Being 14. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nicole. Oh, you guys are too sweet, Deb. <laughs> it's really only under my under eyes. That's the only time I ever noticed it. Because when I smoke it out, it just creases. Like, right here. Like, right underneath the inner corner. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> Soil the look. <laughs> Hey, Jamie, how are you? I agree. I think this liner is super pretty, Nicole. I hope it works out. Let me know if you get the same color. I got waterproof black, but it's not black. <laughs> it's like a navy with some sparkles to it. Okay. Yes. Well, so far, this one's good, and ColourPop, I think, has some really good pot liners, too, Jessica, and um, Anastasia Beverly Hills just came out with, like, the cake liners that are activated with water. I know they caught my eye, but I struggled so bad with the Suva ones that I did not want to mess with these. Yes. 
And then we got a brush by Stila. This is the number 37 silicone eyeshadow applicator. Okay, very cool. You could always use brushes, but it's a silicone eyeshadow app. Okay, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Maybe that's what I needed uh, for my glitter earlier before my eye went to a spasm mode um, from the Mulan palette. It makes me think of the Onyx Glitter Black Liner. Ooh, that sounds so pretty. You know, I haven't tried any Stila brushes either, Nicole. I hope it works out. Ooh, Shelly, how was your, sh um, how do you say it? Cheyenne? <laughs> Cheyenne order? I have heard so much about that brand. I see it all over YouTube. Most of them are sponsored videos, so I never know to trust it or not um, because they don't disclose it in their description, but you can clearly tell. Um, so I've been wanting to try it. I just haven't. Okay, Gigi, good to know. Thank you. I'm going to definitely try this for some glitter. I was struggling with some glitter earlier um, in the Mulan palette and got some in my eye. Did not want to take out my cornea. <laughs> <laughs> almost did it seemed like because of how red it got in the inner corners had to flush out my eye real good Ooh, fab fit fun oh i'm waiting for mine to ship i got a bunch of add-ons too <laughs> so that's it Woo! for bijou um i lost my makeup wipe okay but it's okay got more on deck Yes, Nicole, tomorrow's video is going to have the Mulan um, eyeshadow palette look. I also used their blushes and their lip trio. It was so pretty. I loved it. I didn't know it was coming to Ulta. Otherwise, I would have gotten it there, but finally got it. Hopefully, they do a restock. Let's see. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sephora Play Sample Bag is back. Oh, I think you tagged me in that, Deb. Thank you. I need to check that out. Nicole, you will really enjoy FabFitFun. I try to get more lifestyle items, but I still find myself reaching towards the makeup and skincare. Hey, Amanda, named twin, how are you? Thank you. Oh, I know. Wait. Jackie, yours will be here Monday. Lucky I never even got a shipping notification. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. I wasn't as thrilled with my eye look. Um, I just felt like the reds and the browns in the palette really clashed together. So it kind of looked a little murky, a little muddy going on. But hopefully uh, the glitter helped brighten it up a bit. Ooh, the FabFitFun editor box. Very exciting. Ooh. Okay. So I have a new box to my channel. It's the Bella skincare box. I have been seeing this everywhere. And I kind of wanted to put it off because I just get so much. But I'm just very curious because I don't know if it's like the weather changing or just being stuck at home. My face isn't being as responsive as I want it to in my skincare, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. The lower lash is the blue color from the Jaclyn Hill original palette. This shade right here. One of my favorite shades in that palette. Oh, bye, Jackie. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Yes, Jessica. I totally understand. I finally just hit uh, my watch time goal, and I got accepted today into the monetization program. So I'm very excited to review all that after this. <laughs> I, it could be my lighting, Nicole. Sometimes... These box lights can be very deceiving, but if I look at my monitor, which is now covered by a tower, so I can never tell if I'm in focus anymore, um, if it looked a little bit better on camera than just applying it. So when I go back and edit, I'm like, wow, I was really harsh on myself. I don't know what I was seeing, but it looks fine on the screen. Yes, Nicole, definitely. Well, 
I'm a little hesitant on recommending her palettes because Jen Loves Reviews did a video of the old formula, like the formula that I have versus like the new formula of the volume, um, volume one palette. And there is a little bit of a difference to it. Um, but the volume two palette I've only used once. I liked it, but a lot of the shades were dry and it was a little hard to blend some of the purples. They were super patchy. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jessica, Gigi, Nicole. I, <laughs> I really appreciate it. I wanted to quit so many times on YouTube and um, you guys really helped me push through um, just like interacting like how we are right now in the comments, just that you take time to watch my videos. It means so much because I used to think that no one would care. And, you know, we have like this common love of beauty products, makeup, so many different interests too, which is amazing. So it really kept me going. <laughs> it helps my mental health. So I'm just really excited for that. And I hope that I'll be able to give back more, even more into my channel as well for you guys. Um, so it's just, a, it's very exciting. I'm still stunned right now. Like I saw that right before I hit go live and I'm like, Oh, all the emotions right now. <laughs> I can't think straight. I mean, I already can't think straight because my brain's going pew, pew, pew. And now that monetization's happening, I'm like, okay, got to get together. Got to read everything over and see. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda. Yeah, because I originally started my channel back in 2018. Um, <laughs> and then like a month after I started my channel, I was starting a new job. Uh, we bought the current place that we're in right now. So it took a lot out of me. And then um, I started getting back on track um, at the beginning of 2019. And that is when I started meeting so many of my current friends. And then like a lot of you guys right now, like I met Joy and Jackie and Kayla. And then the summer of 2019 is when I started meeting Jess. And then I met Karen and Karen's channel really helped uh, kickstart um, my channel to tick up a lot when we did the collaboration of Guess Which Eyeshadow Palette. And I, like that meant so much to me because Karen didn't know who I was. And we have been friends ever since then. Um, and then like next thing you know, you're here. <laughs> so, um, so many of you guys, like it's just so amazing that you guys have been like my like from like from like the start or you know being on this journey it's just so like mind blowing to me and it's just means so much to me <laughs> that you guys come to like my live right now and watch my videos it's just oh, it just means so much it it really is my it's my therapy too jessica yeah girl Jeannie, you have no idea how many times I wanted to quit. <laughs> and then, like, we have our team up Tuesdays that I look forward to. Like, you guys, yeah, Gigi, that's the same thing. I think monetize for me is just a perk, you know? Like, that was, like, one of my goals, and we made it. Because <laughs> I, I, I love doing YouTube as well. Like, it has just been such a, like, a rewarding thing because it's something that, like, I built my brand up from here and you know something griffin helped me a lot with it with like editing getting like this whole filming set up you know helping me pick out equipment so it's just like there's so many like sentimental things about my channel that just means so much that even if i didn't get monetized or not i would still keep it around it's because like reading everyone's comments seeing you guys right now in the chat like that's for me is what it's about <laughs> I agree, Amanda. Karen is one of my best friends, too. I love her to pieces. I love you all to pieces. Yes. Agree, Jessica. Because um, right before I hit 1K, um, Jess and Jeannie shouted me out and hit me over <laughs> and helped me over the hump. Like, I was, like, in tears at work because Jeannie sent me a screenshot saying, look, <laughs> you did it. And, like, I was crying at work. I'm like, oh, I hit 1K. So, like, all of these milestones are just, oh, they're, it's so surreal, you know? Because, like, when people, like, when you tell people you do YouTube, people kind of give me, like, a weird look. Like, why do you do YouTube? And... This is why I do it right here. It's <laughs> just like the amazing chat that we have going on. You know, 
like none of my friends are really into makeup or skincare. I mean, I have Catherine, but she's like the one off. She used to make fun of me about my skincare and now she's like hardcore into it. And out of like all my, like my like really like close friends from college, she's like the only one that actually expresses interest in makeup. So like I'll tag her in things and she'll say, Hey, are you going to get this palette or something? So, but you know, I wanted to share my love and passion with some other people, and we all have the same passion. <laughs> oh, look at all the hearts in the chat. <laughs> Sorry if I missed any comments. They're going by so fast. <laughs> yes, I agree, Jessica. It's, yeah. She, she did such an amazing shout out for you, too. Yeah, I agree, Gigi. <laughs> Some, I mean, a, a lot of my friends do support, like, me and my channel because <clears throat> some of them mainly look for, like, like applying makeup, which I kind of been doing crazier looks these days. <laughs> so they probably haven't been watching nearly as much, but... Um, it's glad, like, they're the ones that really, like, helped encourage me and start the channel, actually. Um, sometimes I wish I would have started earlier, but I never thought in college I could balance it out because of being a chem major. I was up all night, every night, studying reactions and all this other crazy stuff. <laughs> so I just never imagined doing YouTube at the same time. And that was the time that I should have started because that's where, like, a lot of people were starting, like, Jaclyn Hill. Um, and all the other really big ones, too. Oh, Michelle, that's so sweet. <laughs> you are beautiful. Yes, yay for YouTube best friends. I, it is crazy, Amanda. It's so crazy. And it's so crazy that, like... <laughs> We have like personal numbers too, because I'm just like it's not just like Instagram messages. So or I keep getting like requests on Facebook too. So I'm just like, oh, we are like really like connected. It's so cool, and it's crazy figuring out how close some of us are to each other. Because like me and Jessica are close, as well as Riri is close too. So I'm like, huh? And Jackie pretty much lives in like the same area I grew up. So it's just mind-blowing right now <laughs> agreed yeah griffin pushed me hardcore to keep up with my channel too he's like don't you have to film don't you have to edit and i hate it well it's not like i hate editing it's just it takes me forever because i'm a squirrel i mean my sorority mascot is a squirrel so i'm add as it is <laughs> um so it just takes me forever to edit but i'm glad that he pushed me because he i thought he was about to cry when he saw that <laughs> My channel was accepted, too. <laughs> I love y'all, too, Jessica. I love this amazing, supportive community that we have right here. It means so much. Like, I can't even put it into words. I love you all. Hey, Tammy, thank you for being here. No, Gigi, no one is ever too old to do it at all. And that's why I love Jeannie's channel, um, because she does, she focuses on mature skin and I have learned so much between what I've learned from a chemistry standpoint, as well as working in topicals and then like her research and her experience it has really helped me figure out the products that I need when I'm approaching 30. Yes. Oh yes. Amanda, we are close too. <laughs> we talked about this as well. I know. We should, we all need to like meet up and do a vlog. Karen is close too. <laughs> Could you guys imagine? Like, I don't think YouTube would be ready for all of us to meet up. <laughs> I'm glad they pushed you, Nicole, to start back up. Yes. <laughs> oh no, it's okay, Amanda. Focus on the road. <laughs> oh, I love you all too. Y'all aren't old. <laughs> Genie, stop. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> I know. 
I, I had no idea. Like there were so many North Carolina, even South Carolina chicks. Like it's so cool. <laughs> well, I'm doing a little mini road trip to find everyone. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand, Nicole. But I'm glad that you have us and your family to push you to keep it up. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. I know me and Karen were supposed to meet up back in February, but the one time it snows ruined my plan to go to the Morphe store. <laughs> oh, yes. Southern mom is close, too. She's really close to me. Um, which is really close. <laughs> That is awesome. Oh, uh, Michelle, you should start, though. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jamie. I, I, <laughs> I wasn't originally planning on going live today. It just happened. Like, just so many different things was happening today. Like, my upload schedule this week got messed up. And then um, seeing the monetized notification and... Got halfway through the boxes, and <laughs> now I'm, like, in my feelings right now, reading everyone's sweet comments. <laughs> I, and I plan on doing a live on Friday. I was going to do the swatch party of the Elf Bite Size palette. So I'm still thinking I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Because I don't have anything else planned for Friday. Oh, wow. I have um, a friend right now, Deb, uh, working on their mess. At, uh, ugh, <laughs> tongue twister right there. I have a friend working on her master's at UNC Charlotte. What? You used to be in What? Gigi used to be in Charlotte, too? Oh, wow. South Car That's where um, Griffin's originally from, is South Carolina. <laughs> yes. Jessica, Jessica, I think you're about maybe like two hours from me. Two or three. Glam with Kelly is moving. Everyone's just coming to North Carolina. <laughs> okay, Deb, you do want the swatch. But okay, I'll try um, to schedule a live on Friday. I should be able to do it around like the same time as today. Um, it seems to be a good time. Yay, Jessica! I'm excited for your live. Anyone close to Pennsylvania? Jamie, do you remember Joy from my first live? She lives in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Gigi, oh my gosh, it's in my cart right now. The face palette, it is. That was so pretty. Like, I, I forget about Elf. Like, if I don't see their products in Ulta or Target or Walmart, I forget they have, like, an actual website. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ooh, casinos. Yes, Jeannie. <laughs> I love blackjack. That is my favorite game. Or the slots. <laughs> okay, Jess. Uh, I think you are like around two hours. Because I am in um, like the triangle area. Oh, Michelle, that, that's how I feel too. Like when my computer messes up when I'm trying to edit on Adobe Premiere, I just want to throw it across the room so much. Oh, The Elf Palette. Deb, I was able to find the Bite Size Palettes on Ulta's website. Um, they had all of them at least two weeks ago when I placed in my order. A lot could happen within two weeks, but um, hopefully they will restock it soon. That's where I was able to find mine. Yes, Jamie, move to the Carolinas. <laughs> oh, Jeannie, that is pretty much where I am. Oh, maybe we cross paths at some point. <laughs> That's why I keep telling Jackie. I'm like, must have crossed paths sometime when I was in Florida. <laughs> Is this a candle? I just got sidetracked. Coco Canna skincare skincare candle. 
Oh, that smells so good. I'm so bad at describing scents. Reminds me of like a like a cologne almost, like a like a woody scent. Does it have anything that can help me? <laughs> mm, I need more candles. But this candle retails for $35 for this little tiny thing. You heat it up and then you spoon it on your hand. Am I going to burn my hands off though? I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, I, I just went to sniff it to feel, but it still has like that. It, that's interesting. Huge road trip when the pandemic is gone. That would be amazing. It has CBD in it. Do you guys think products that have CBD in it actually helps a little bit more? I feel like it's almost a hoax because I just haven't seen much of a difference in products that say that has CBD in it versus that doesn't. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then, like, my Glow Attic box in April had all CBD items in it, which was cool, but I didn't really see much of a difference to justify the CBD price point. I feel like it's just, like, a market tactic to upcharge products. Tia, you don't notice either? Okay. For the pain. Okay, Deb. That's good to know. Yes, Shelly. I got, I mean, Michelle, sorry. I just saw sh <laughs> at first, but um, I did get the shampoo bar. I haven't tried it yet, so I want to see if it does help. Does it smell like Old Spice? I did not look a little too deep into it here. Oh, wow. I guess it does. I guess I'll have to do a, a sniff test, but uh, because Griffin uses Old Spice <laughs> and see. Beauty Bay eyeshadow. I have not tried any Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes. Okay. Really, Jeannie? It is the biggest crap. I love shampoo bars, though. I love um, the ones by Lush. I'm a little sad now. Oh, I'm sorry that didn't work out. Oh, Nicole, hands down, BoxyCharm was an epic fail for premium and base box. Hey, Karen, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Got Karen in the house. We also have some reusable cotton makeup removers. Now, these little rounds are making... It's rounds, literally. Because <laughs> I got some in Glow Addict. I got, like, little pink ones. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like the big makeup eraser ones where I can just do my whole face. But I don't know. I feel like this will just only get one eye's worth. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what was up with BoxyCharm at all. Like, I did not get any of the products that I was hoping for. And both of my boxes were pretty much identical for base. And they're two different profiles. So I was really upset about that. But it's okay. I'm sharing products with Catherine and you guys for a giveaway. So it works out in the end. But I, because I just didn't, you know, think I would get makeup wipes because my profile isn't set to get makeup wipes. Um, I was hoping maybe like the Tarte Micellar Water because it seemed like everyone was getting the Tarte. Um, but I rarely saw people with House or Jouet. <laughs> Jeannie, you should sign up. <laughs> Do it. The peer pressure will get to you. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the pads are a little bit big. I mean... I'm just used to my makeup uh, makeup eraser. Maybe that's why I think that they are smaller. But I like them. I'm going to wash them first um, just to be on the safe side. Um, kind of like my makeup eraser. But I like to use these with my cleansing balms, like my Elemis one. Um, I'm using a Kate Somerville one right now. Um, I ran out of Clinique. I like the Clinique one a lot. <clears throat> it's the cheapest out of all those. <laughs> oh, thanks, Karen. 
I have the Jaclyn Hill palette on my eyes and then the Dose of Colors uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Date Night that we got in BoxyCharm a while back. And then the uh, Persona lip gloss that I'm trying from 21 Days of Beauty. <laughs> I know. I really hope that BoxyCharm is a lot better in June. Um, I wasn't really crazy about the Lux choices, um, like the pillowcase. I mean, it's very more like FabFitFun at that point, which is why I started FabFitFun for more lifestyle. And then BoxyCharm, you just kind of expect more skincare, makeup, you know, even some hair care to an extent. So I was just a little uh, confused to see pillowcases and a water bottle as choice items. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen, I, I hope they do add-ons as well. But I also noticed that, because like on my second BoxyCharm account for the base box, they had some repeat choice items, like the Benefit Primers were choice again. So I don't know if they're trying to get rid of inventory or if it's like, oh, like this product was so good, choose it again type thing. But I was a little confused about that. <laughs> I want to walk with you, Joy. I didn't announce. I, I, I meant to put a post in my community tab or Twitter and Instagram about being live, but um, it was like a spontaneous one to unbox. And um, <clears throat> thank you guys uh, for reaching the milestone of monetization as well. Thank you, Karen. Love, 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 love you. I don't know where the Jouet takeover is, Jeannie, but I'm waiting for it. And it better be good. I'm a little nervous about it. Because, like, I enjoyed the Fenty one, but I felt like they could have put some better products in it, in my opinion. So I'm hoping the Jouet one is a little bit better. No, it's not bad to want the pillow. <laughs> not at all, Karen. Not at all. I almost picked that. But I'm having some teeth staining right now from all the coffee that I drink and none of the whitening pens that I've gotten in test tube um, or anything have been helping so that's why I chose the whitening pens and we're getting mascara again for like the third month in a row in BoxyCharm but hey you know if something will help these lashes then I'm here for it <laughs> I really hope Lux isn't in a fail too I really hope not or premium for that matter. Like, I was not crazy about premium this month. <clears throat> right, Gigi? <laughs> I was confused about the straws too, so I redid my choices so I didn't have to get straws. <laughs> oh, thanks, Karen. This is my second live. I'm trying to do some more. I'm having so much fun doing them. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You have been a huge support on helping. I appreciate it. Had the Violet Voss Best Life Palette. Okay. I love Violet Voss. <laughs> so I better see some Violet Voss up in there. Hey, Sylvia, how are you? Yes, Karen, another mascara. I saw the, it was by Lily Lashes. Um, it was either choosing the Tula product or um, the Lily Lashes mascara. So I picked Tula for Lux and then the Lily Lashes for my base box. So we'll see. Ooh, rearranging. Have fun, Nicole. That was like me earlier this week or earlier last week, um, reorganizing the beauty room and the vanity. <clears throat> is a mess. <laughs> hey, Vanessa, how are you? Joy, I feel you. It's that kind of day. I, my brain is completely applesauce right now, too. I'm just, like, all over the place. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here. Yes, Vanessa, we are unboxing the Bella Skincare Box. This is my first one on my channel. I kept seeing you and some other YouTubers get it. So I was like, I'm going to try it for myself. So here we are. Joy, why would you wear some jeans during quarantine? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't even tell you like the last time I put on a pair of jeans. Ever since I put on leggings and yoga pants, like I haven't gone back. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I I mainly wear dresses to work um, and put leggings underneath because me and jeans just don't get along at all. <laughs> hey, Nancy, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thanks, Jeannie. Eyeliner. Oh, I got the eyeliner to the blue one from Kat Von D, but I've been hearing that it's drying out super fast, which is, a, which is a shame because it was such a beautiful color. Like, I loved that blue so much. It made my eyes really pop, um, but I had to go over it like a thousand times, it seemed like. Jeannie, I think you would really enjoy this Bella skincare box. There's some good items in here. I think this is a lip scrub, I believe. I lost my card. <laughs> um, or is it a... Wait, I'm confused. Because <laughs> I see Dirty Lamb on here a few times. <clears throat> okay, Rose Petal Toner. I love Rose. But the true determination if I'm going to like it is going to be the spray applicator. You know, that was actually really nice. Ooh, it smells like wine. It smells like a rosé. <laughs> Ooh, that's really nice. I think I sprayed on too much, but I think I get by. For It's good for a toner. I think that has like a better spray for setting spray. Oh, yeah, for sure, Gigi. I believe KBD it went downhill a long time ago, like, with the whole controversy about Kat Von D. And then she sold her brand, and now she's, like, not part of it anymore. <clears throat> and I still think it's not doing that well, because I don't think anyone has, like, really been, like, talking about them, like, the big influencers. So I feel like to at least get their product to people... BoxyCharm must have made a deal or something. I mean, this is all a conspiracy theory, of course, but I've noticed it too. Like, every month since, like, December, we've gotten a KBD product. I mean, the ones that we got in May were actually kind of good. Like, I really like that brow pomade that we got and then the eyeliner, but all the other stuff I could have probably lived without. Okay, I take that back. The cake eyeliner is really good for tight lining the upper lash when you have lashes on, but... It's a little redundant. It's like KBD is a new Wander Beauty. Like, I can't even tell you, like, the last time I got Wander Beauty. But that, that brand has been treating me a lot better these days. <laughs> yes, it is super refreshing, Vanessa. That felt so nice. So nice. I have this other thing from Dirty Lambs as well in here that I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is. It says... Wait, I only have one thing by Dirty Lamb in here. Okay. Uh, bonus item? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. Because I took out the candle. <clears throat> I think this is the mask. Okay. I must have got like some bonus item then. Because I... What's this? Aqua... Oh, okay, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. I got another eye cream. Okay, this is the eye cream. I did get cremated, Karen. Did you? I really thought I was going to get stuck <laughs> on the queue because it was taking forever. But by the time I got done at checkout, it was sold out on the website. Oh, and the KVD formula changed. I didn't know that. They are on sale. Gigi, like all like her whole line seems to be on sale. <clears throat> Thank you, Jamie. I'm wearing the date night uh dose of colors lipstick that we got in BoxyCharm a few months ago, and then I put the persona gloss over it. <clears throat> oh yes, I got the Lolita single shadow. It works really nice as a blush. Oh, okay. This dirty lamp thing is a bonus. Thank you, Vanessa, for clarifying. I'm like, I don't see it on here. I love lip scrubs. The best lip scrub that I have used, though, that actually helped my really dry lips is the Jeffree Star Mojito one. I got this in his mystery boxes back in February. 
And I've been obsessed with it. So I hope that this one works really well. And then I got the coffee CBD one in Glow Attic last month, which worked out really nice too. <clears throat> yes, Nicole, I was on the fence about cremated because I was like, do I want it? Because I was hoping that was going to be a little bit darker, more grungier because that's my aesthetic. Um, but I, I mainly got it because I wanted to do a dupes video. I have something in mind of how I want to do the video. Um, I'm going to do like a first impressions on it too, but I want to do a dupe video as well. <clears throat> it's funny because like a lot of people I went to college with, were, were, um, a lot of people I went to college with were going batshit over. They were like, oh my gosh, I need this palette. I was like looking at them like, huh? <laughs> you want them? Like, I just, I don't know. Like, there are so many releases out there that when I see like an average consumer friend <clears throat> go bananas over it, I it I just I just got baffled by it because like they they thought it was like the most amazing palette and I thought of the Urban Decay uh, Smoky um, Smoky palette because I'm like I think it's been done before but. Some of the glitters <clears throat> and like the shimmers in this palette, like when I was seeing other people swatch it, I'm like, okay, I'm glad I got it because that is what's going to be my saving grace for it. Because I was a little worried it might be ashy on me, a little bit. <clears throat> I am wearing um, lashes from ColourPop. Um, I don't know where the box went. I I mentioned it in my video tomorrow, but I can always DM you the style as well. Oh, a collab video with Renee. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to see that video, Amanda. You like the colors. Oh, yeah. Jeannie, I ran into some issues with Bloodlust. Um, <clears throat> like the yellow shade, I cannot get it to like really pop to save my life, which makes me so sad. It's one of my favorite shades in that palette. Oh, we love you, Karen. <clears throat> yes. Marilyn, you're close. You're close to me, Amanda. <clears throat> it's not that far from North Carolina. <laughs> Jeannie, I'm trying to dig through my collection, too, to find the um, Urban Decay Smoky palette. I, I have no idea where I placed it. And they also just teased a purple palette. I hope that is going to be good. I'm not as crazy about it, but how I was, like, the same. Like, that's how I was about Naked Honey. And then I bought Naked Honey, and I fell in love with Naked Honey. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll get the purple just in case. Thank you, Vanessa. I used um, one of the shades. Everything is in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I used this shade in the inner corners. <clears throat> that, that's my little squirtle. I have been a Pokemon fan since it came out <laughs> for like... Uh, I think it's been out for 25 years now. Um, I'm just a huge nerd in conclusion. <laughs> we got the Disney princesses. There's some other stuff that you guys can't see. I got Kingdom Hearts back there. BB-8, Power Rangers. Um, <laughs> Forky from Toy Story. <laughs> but I need to arrange those a little bit better. So if I do do a tour, it'll be a little bit more presentable. Jeannie, I love that you know what Pokemon are. <laughs> Like, when we talked about it a while back, like, I geeked out so hard. Like, I, I love Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon Dungeon on the Switch. Mm. <laughs> Dragonite is my favorite as well. Charmander, Charizard, mm. all the dragon Pokemon, my favorite. <laughs> Ooh, Deb, you want the Urban Decay Purple? Let me know if you get this, because I want it too. Oh, Tammy, what plushes does he have? I'm trying to build up my collection. They have a new giant Lapras that I want, and I have the huge Snorlax beanbag, so I feel like Snorlax needs a friend. It doesn't look like adults live here in my house. It looks like kids. 
<laughs> like I have nerd stuff everywhere. Like my downstairs office is all Harry Potter themed. The beauty room is just the bathroom is like Marvel. And then you just have everything right here. Um, our movie theater game room <clears throat> is um, Star Wars themed. Um, the family room is science themed. So got some themes going on. Oh, the Christmas book. No, I don't have any of the Christmas book. I, if I do, I only have Pikachu. <laughs> Yes, Jeannie, all the po and they keep making Pokemon. Like we have Sword and Shield now that I haven't even tried yet, and there's probably over a thousand now. Oh, his favorite is Squirtle. I love that. <clears throat> I know, Amanda. After 151, it was really hard. I was doing good until Generation 4, which is Diamond and Pearl, and that's when I couldn't keep up. Like, I just couldn't. There's just so many. Oh, Jeannie, you want the Urban Decay too? Yes. Yes. I want to see every if, if we all get it, I want to see everyone's videos. I'll probably still get it myself. I'll probably dupe it out too with some of the purples that I have. Um, oh, Gigi, your daughter loved Pokemon. I love that. <laughs> um, they have a new Pokemon out at Build-A-Bear. They have Jolteon. Um, so I love how they're doing like the evolutions. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Jeannie, your son is really close to my age. <laughs> I see. Makes sense. <laughs> okay, the game room. I mean, mainly it's Griffin does his gaming in there with like the Xbox. Um, we talked about getting like an air hockey table in there. But, oh, thanks Vanessa for stopping by. I appreciate you. Have a good night. <laughs> yes, the purple urban decay. Oh, I need to look next year or when Christmas rolls around this year, I'll look at the Pokemon plushies. <laughs> oh, Jeannie, I need a cover. <laughs> I have no excuse. Anytime like uh like the TV or water any like maintenance appliance person that comes into our house they're always like so how many kids do you have and we're like mm, none <laughs> so we just get like really weird looks but i embrace it it's okay oh bulbasaur bulbasaur is so cute i love my little bulbasaur we got these at carowinds a few years ago <laughs> <clears throat> hey robin thank you for stopping by i appreciate you <laughs> I am enjoying my first box now that I know what everything is because I was confused about my lip product but I'm glad that it's a bonus item and we have <clears throat> an eye cream as well oh wow it's a green eye cream <laughs> um, let's see it retails for $34 which is how much this box is <clears throat> oh wow oh it's like slimy Woo. <laughs> I got some on my hand <clears throat> it's to help slow down the signs of aging. Okay, we talked about my wrinkles <laughs> earlier, <laughs> my under eyes. <laughs> um, dark circles, which I get. Puffiness and sun damage. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how bad my mom like hounds me on using SPF. <laughs> the result is a rested, more youthful appearance. Target concerns, fine lines, and wrinkles. Okay. You know, that eye cream sounds bomb. I hope it lives up to, like, my old Henriksen, because, like, I swear by that stuff. Like, the Murad one that we got in Boxy Lux was pretty good, too. The QMS $200 eye cream, I don't see the hype of it at all. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> Ooh, Marvel Collectors, yes! Oh, I would love to see your collection. I have like the little end game Funkos in my office. <laughs> Ooh, you have Pokemon in your room too, Robin? Yes. All oh, the Eevee Lucians are so cute. Like I love Umbreon and Espeon. They're some of my favorites. 
I want to see a video on her Pikachu collection. No, I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm showing off my little collection. <laughs> I want to see yours. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Robin. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Tishia. <laughs> yes, the Eevees are so cute. Like, they're just adorable. If you have an Eevee collection too, Robin, please share. <laughs> I'm interested. I, I I geek out hard when I hear the word Pokemon. Like, I get so excited because, like, that was my childhood. It's still my childhood. Like, that's partially why I bought a Switch is because I wanted the Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu games. <laughs> you too. He's a badass. I love that Detective Pikachu movie too. And we have a clay mask by Tropical Naturals. My oh, I just spilled some all over myself. Oops, <laughs> it's all over Sailor Moon. Okay, I'm just gonna close that back up <laughs> and try it another time. Yikes, <laughs> I'm making a mess over here. <laughs> oh yes, Gigi. I love the Marvel movies too. And I'm a little sad that Black Widow didn't get to premiere this month, but like she's not one of my favorites, but I still wanted to see it because it's a Marvel movie. Um, so I hope that it's good. I have faith. Mainly, I just watch for Tom Holland these days. Or no longer Chris Evans. <laughs> but I love Captain America. He was like my favorite. <laughs> if we're spilling the tea. <laughs> Yes, yes. I mean, it didn't moisturize, but it didn't like brighten or help tighten anything. But so like if you're paying $200 for an eye cream, it better A, apply itself and just like completely give me new under eyes for sure. Oh my gosh, Karen, that's crazy. Like was your house like <laughs> your house must have been lit. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been like one of those like gyms or like a place to level up on Pokemon Go. I I liked it at first, and then I got bored of it. I don't know. My attention span was not there for it. <laughs> yeah, Jeannie, it was uh let uh bleh. Pokemon Go. Words are hard. <laughs> yes. Oh, War Turtle, he was cute too. And then he evolves into Blastoise. <laughs> GG, yes. Oh, Thor. Oh my gosh. I used to poke fun at Griffin. Um, when he had like really long hair like Thor. And I'm like, Griffin, you could be Thor. You just don't have like the body. <laughs> He was kind of like Captain America before he got the serum injected in him. <laughs> that is insane, Karen. Like, people were going, but like, I remember when Pokemon Go came out and people were literally just running through like the parking lots and all the plazas and. People were getting mad that you almost hit their kid, like, almost hit their kid, but it's just, like, your kid's not paying attention walking across the road. Like, people, like, were just crazy when all this started. But I feel like it's died down a little bit, but they made, like, a Harry Potter version, um, I think, too. I never tried it. <laughs> right. I was too genie at one point. It was good exercise. Like, just walking around, catching all the Pokemon. Yes. Oh, it's okay, Karen. I hope Kayla's okay. <laughs> yep. Jeannie, me and your son are on the same timeline. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, now I got a uh, mask all over the place. I have... Oh, this is just a candle. Okay, so that was it for that box. Okay. I'm excited. I'm really intrigued from that eye cream and hopefully this mask. Oh, as it's still dusting on me. Hopefully it works out okay. But I think the toner was my favorite that I actually tried. So we'll see. We'll see. 
My husband and I dressed up as oh, as Wonder Woman and Superman. That is adorable. I love that. That is so cute. I love doing like um <clears throat> couples costumes because like last year, me and Griffin did Cosmo and Wanda from the Fairly Odd Parents. Everyone thought Griffin was Joker because <laughs> of the green hair, and Joker had just come out. Um. And then some kids thought he was Beetlejuice, but none of them knew that we were Cosmo and Wanda. And I was kind of sad. I'm like, oh, kids don't know who Cosmo and Wanda are from the Fairly Odd Parents these days. Oh, the cards. Oh, yeah. I don't even know where my Pokemon cards are. I don't know if my parents kept them or not, but I, I have some because sometimes. <clears throat> on Black Friday, me and Griffin will buy like the Pokemon card tins that go <clears throat> half off at Target. So those are like some of our like fun, we're still kids gift exchanges. But other than that, I don't know where like my main cards were, like the really rare cards from like when I was five. <laughs> the rare Japanese holographic Charizard that's worth like 10 grand these days. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable, G. Oh, they're <laughs> Team Rocket. <laughs> that is so funny. I love that. Oh, Griffin, we need to do that. <laughs> he can't hear me, unless if he's still watching. But And then Buffy can be Meow. <laughs> the cat that scratched me. That I have a Band-Aid on. <laughs> Your family dressed up as the Addams Family. That's cute, too. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes, Harry Potter. Yes. Oh, thanks, Nancy. I have the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette on the eyes and then Dose of Colors and Persona. I dropped those. Yeah, they're no longer over here to show. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's the Dose of Colors Date Night uh, red lip shade. And then I found my Persona gloss. That's over it. I'm starting to go a little bit joker on the sides of my... Oh, from talking too much. I know. Going joker, and then when I put on too much blush, I'm going jigsaw. Like, those are my man. <laughs> those are my mans. Gryffindor's on the board. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Halloween is so much fun. I kind of want to try doing some more um, like creative looks for Halloween this year since I did like my BB-8 and R2-D2 look and then I did Buzz Lightyear. So I kind of want to expand a little bit more on the face. I want to try with my mans, the Joker and um, Jigsaw. I think those would be a good start. They're still going Joker. I might need concealer, but it's okay. <laughs> Joy, Joy, when you said I lived, all I could think of was Mushu. I lived. <laughs> Captain America is your favorite too. Yes, on the same wavelengths. Love that. Hey, Jessica, thanks for coming back. No worries. No worries. I have one box left, and it is Test Tube Beauty. If I can get it without destroying the beauty room. Oh, gosh. What the? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. <clears throat> well, we got the actual tube, and then we got like this big jar of something. Okay. Collagen protein peptides for health and beautiful skin. Okay. I guess uh, we'll give this a shot and see. Clinically tested collagen. You don't say. Expires May 2021. Hmm. I don't know. I'm skeptical on stuff like this. What do you guys think? Do you guys have test tube and did you guys try this? <clears throat> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Jeannie, do you want this? Because I will send it to you if you want it. <laughs> I don't know, Gigi. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> but Jeannie might want it, is what she said in the comments. And we got, I think these are sheet masks. Three step skincare kit. Glow up tomorrow. Oh, I'm more than happy to send it to you, Jeannie. I'll text you. <laughs> I'll text you for your address. So we have these three step skincare kits. Step one, glow cleanser. Step two, intensive sheet mask. And three, hydro moisturizer. So we got two of each. I hope that these work out. <laughs> You're going to put it in your coffee. <laughs> yes. I hope it works out. Aw, thanks, Jessica. I appreciate it. Well, we have the little card. Let's read what that is about. <clears throat> it retails for $40, Jeannie. The NeoCell Collagen Protein Peptides. You mix one scoop of this dissolving powder into your coffee, tea, or smoothie. So you can't put it in your coffee. That is cool. And you're supposed to ch achieve glowing skin and healthy hair and nails from within. I wonder if it would help with my hair because I got some dry hair and it is thick. Like it's already waving out on me. It was like pinpoint straight earlier and it's already slowly poofing out. I need coffee too, Tishia. I don't think I ever finished the other one I was drinking earlier. Collagen is more effective if ingested. Now that is a theory. Interesting. Yeah, it is expensive. I'm very shocked. <laughs> it better do something if it's supposed to. <laughs> you do See, at first I did not think you could put it in your coffee, but you can. That's really cool. Hopefully it doesn't like um, alter the taste of coffee. Making it like super sweet. Or, or there might not be any flavor at all. <laughs> ah, yes, Jessica. Like the frizz be real. Like I haven't even been outside and it's just frizzing. Like why? I Nothing ever works. Like I've been using the Living Proof um, defrizzer and it just frizzes up 10 minutes later. Nothing ever helps. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Michelle. Yes, they'll be in my thoughts. I won't be able to taste it. Okay. Good to know, Jeannie. I hope I won't. <laughs> Gigi's calling me out. Um, I have been. As of two weeks, I have been. <laughs> Last week and yesterday, I did deep condition my hair. Um... I'm trying to learn from Jackie that <laughs> to take better care of my hair because I'm always being like so skincare obsessive that I just have so much hair that I tend to neglect it because it's just so much. It just sheds and nothing ever helps, but I think it needs a good trim because these ends are ratchet. Um, I'm not cutting them myself. I'm going to wait until it's like safe to get a haircut. Um, <clears throat> so um, once I get a haircut, uh, things should be a little bit better, but I'm also using the Briogeo. Um, hair mask as well to deep condition all this mean oh that's good to know that deep conditioning is helping your hair i have like really wavy hair like the waves are starting to peak out from being straightened so um and it's never like a cute wave or curl so i have to either straighten it or put it up because it's just it looks like a mess <laughs> The Olaplex oil. No, I have not tried the Olaplex oil. I have tried their shampoo and conditioner and then their leave-in products, but not the oil. Maybe I need to try that. Every week to deep condition. I might need to try that, Gigi. 
I might. I used to do it twice a week, and it was really good. Like when my hair was like pretty much down to my butt, almost is when I used to deep condition twice a week, and then I got really lazy. Not gonna lie, but self care has been something I'm working on during quarantine. So maybe I need to do it maybe twice a week for my hair. Ooh, burritos! What? <laughs> yes, Gigi. You and Jackie are. I always take notes because I'm like, I wonder if any of these products could work out for me and my hair. So I have like a list, <laughs> a mile long list. Because what I'm using right now is not working. It's the, um, it's not like the good Briogeo. It's the Briogeo, like, uh, it's in, it's in, uh, the yellow containers of it, like the natural fruits, like the banana or something that it is. I can't think of the name, but it uh, makes my hair feeling even more brittle. And it just made me sad because like, I love Briogeo's Don't Despair Repair, but this like natural veggie stuff is just not doing it for my hair. Makes me so sad. And then I got the Maui um, pink bottles from Costco. And it's okay. It's just causing a lot of buildup up in here. So, And I just got finished um, going through the It's a 10 shampoo and conditioner. So I didn't want to spend 120 bucks just on shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, Michelle. I hope everything is okay. No problem, Jessica. I'll try to be there for your live. I'll probably be eating dinner at that point. So I'll have it on. <laughs> I'll pop in every once in a while. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Yes, he will. <clears throat> Gotta love burritos. Love you too, Jessica. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate you. I'm going to do the same for you on your live. Try the Keratin Complex leave-in. Uh, it's called Keratin Obsessed. Thank you, Tammy. I'm going to add that to my list to try. I need something. I got the um, Brazilian hair treatment one time where it straightens your hair. Like, your hair will stay straight for, like, half a year. It was insane. Like, when I blue dried my hair, it was straight. It was, like, the best thing ever. But it's, like, 300 bucks, and I'm not paying for that. Because my mom paid <laughs> <laughs> when I was in high school to get that done. <laughs> My hair needs help badly. It's so dry. Yeah. I I have very dry hair too. And it's funny because like I'll wash it and then it's dry for two to three days. And then it's so greasy. And I'm like, how did that happen overnight? Literally. <laughs> oh, I argan oil. Oh, yes. I used to use the Josie Marin. Um, I know she made one for hair, but I use like the normal one in my hair. And it used to do really good stuff for me. I forgot about that. Because sometimes oils weigh down my hair. So that's why I haven't used one in a, such a long time. But Olaplex, I'm definitely going to have to look into that one. I'm going to have to look into that, Janie. Thank you. Um, we bought some stuff on Sephora, so they'll be sending a 15% off at some point. So I'm going to add that Olaplex oil in it for sure. <laughs> I know I need all the hair tips too, Jessica. So bad. Hey, Lisa, how are you? It puts keratin back in your hair. Helps with frizzing. Oh, my hair is lacking a lot of keratin then. But I feel like it's like naturally frizzy though because my hair has always been, unless if I've just been that lacking of keratin. No, oh, no. Is there anything in test tube that comes in with some of the, like, like some hair? That'd be nice. Let's see. But, oh, but I got some scar gel though, which is actually really good for breakouts because I pick at my pimples until they go away. And then I have like a lovely dark spot. Ooh, a nail polish by Orly. Uh, I'm not even like going in order. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. I need to paint my nails. And this retails for $10. The scar gel retails for $25. I hope that works out. I like the Kate Somerville scar gel. It's been working out for me. Oh, how so your dinner was good. What'd you have, Lisa? Oh, okay. 
Good to know, Gigi. Thank you. Oh, the travel kit. I'll have to look into that, Jeannie. <clears throat> I, I don't think I have... I think I only have, like, their leave-in stuff right now. Come to think of it. I haven't repurchased any of their shampoo or conditioner. Ooh, taco salad. Ah, oh, curly is naturally drier. Boo! I have dry hair, dry skin. <laughs> I'm just dry everywhere. Is this a hair product? Nope. <laughs> oh, we got more. What is with test tube putting toothpaste? Not that like I'm against toothpaste, but like this is like the third month in a row we've gotten some like because we got teeth whitening pens, um, the last test tube, and then we got teeth whitening toothpaste, and now we just got toothpaste. Which is probably going to be for whitening because it's activated charcoal. I guess we'll see. Nothing seems to be had like nothing seems to be helping this tooth right there. It's been my troublemaker for years now. <clears throat> Bye, Nancy. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Julie, how are you, girl? Dry everywhere. It sucks. <laughs> It sucks. But then like in the summer times, like sometimes my face will get super oily and I'm like, why? Where did this come from? Like choose either dry or oily, one or the other. <laughs> but like my hair, it takes a while for my hair to really grease up. It's had its moments where it does grease up overnight, but usually I can get like, usually I wash my hair and then wait two to three days to wash it again. <laughs> Lisa, you can have some of my hair. I got thick hair. And it's funny because I bought some wigs because sometimes I don't always want to, you know, tackle my hair because it's just so much to do. Um, so I bought a wig. And what I found out is that the wig was really struggling on staying on top of me because how I had to, like, bundle my hair up, my hair was just getting in the way. <laughs> so the wig was sliding because of all of my hair. It was very annoying. <laughs> Oh, I know, Michelle. I know. When I was younger, I think it was like until like middle school is when my hair really waved and put and poofed out because it used to be pinpoint straight all the way through elementary school. And then one night I woke up and poof, here we go. But I'm thankful for it because like, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I could ever imagine my hair being thin. So it's something that I've just gotten used to over time. It's just a lot to maintain. And it's something that I neglect for sure. But, uh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Thank you, Deb, for stopping by. Love you. Have a good night. Glad to hear you're doing well, Julie. Oh, I wish I could just wash my hair once a week, though. That would be the life. But <clears throat> normally texturing sprays really help it, though. Is this a hair product? Native fig. Let's see. <clears throat> we have to read the ingredients on this. Oh, it's, you can buy this at Ulta. It's $18. It's a replenishing three-in-one leave-in. This vitamin-enriched leave-in spray coats hair with vitamin C, E, and calcium, instantly sealing in moisture and leaving hair frizz-free and detangled. Lies. I'm calling it now. My hair doesn't stay detangled or frizz-free. We'll try it, though. I always feel like I use so much hair product just for nothing to do <laughs> okay well right now it looks okay <laughs> but we'll give it a minute oh that smells good i was like what does that smell okay so frizz free for at least five seconds we'll see we'll give it a minute let's see it's 7 39 so we'll see at eight o'clock <laughs> how we're looking you wash your hair today. Oh, wow. 
I'm sorry, Lisa. That's like my friend Catherine. Like, she has to wash her hair every single day. She doesn't even use conditioner every single day because of how oily her hair will get. I need to touch up on my stress grays right now. <laughs> oh, my hair needs a cut and dye for sure. That sounds like my daughter's hair. Thick and long, just like mine. My ends are so bad. But so far, this product seemed to be doing really good. Still like a little flyaways here and there, but that was only like a minute or two. I like getting the hair products in test tube. We got one last time, and it did okay. But it wasn't my favorite. It's not my It's a 10. Like my It's a 10 stuff is so good. I just don't like paying the price of It's a 10. No worry, Jeannie. Thank you for stopping by. I know. I have to edit, too. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Love you. Excited to see that video. It's humid in Kansas. Yeah. I used to live in Florida. My hair was poof everywhere all the time. <laughs> it was not a good time. And then we got two... Other products, we have a hyaluronic serum by Lemieux. I don't know. I'm not French. I tried. I tried. Let's see. Um, it's $60 for this. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Is a 10 is so good. I love that stuff. I'm missing the shampoo and conditioner so bad. Oh, she uses, does it help her hair, Lisa? Because it's something that really helped out my hair. It's just, I don't like the price point. <laughs> I really like hyaluronic acids because it's so good for dry skin. And your girl, we we're already talking about how dry I am. <clears throat> but it's not going to get the full benefit just testing it out. Um, it works best with a moisturizer. Oh, and there goes the plastic. I think that would help to screw on the topper again. Oh, but the hand is soaking it right in. Oh, this would be more of like a winter product for me. I don't really need as much hydrating <clears throat> during the summer with the humidity. Um, cause it gets so, it gets really humid in the Carolinas, like, ugh, too much, but so far so good. I keep looking. I'm just like waiting to see some frizzies just to start peeking like every minute, like a time check <laughs> so far. So good. Oh, that's awesome that you guys are neighbors. Well, in like the same area. <laughs> Oh, that's good to know that hyaluronic works well for your oily skin. That's good. Because some of my friends have oily skin, and I'm always hesitant on recommending some products. I'm only really good at dry skin because I know what works for me. So I love learning from everyone else <clears throat> to help my friends have oily skin. And then the last product is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I have... um a tube of this already and then I bought a backup during boxy pop-up so I'm gonna set this aside for a giveaway as well so we got some giveaway items up in here so I thought that test tube was actually pretty solid I mean we got some different like <clears throat> test tube we get some different items in it like we got this amazing powder that Jeannie says is gonna work out really nice we got some scar cream a primer toothpaste <laughs> nail polish a really good smelling hair product that's maintaining the frizz at least for five minutes. An, a really nice hyaluronic acid and some masks. That's what's up. I just have a lot to clean up now. <laughs> and the tube was really cute for this month. I love the flowers. I would put fake flowers in there. <clears throat> Real flowers, I'd probably kill. Except my ones in Animal Crossing. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Lisa. Yeah, I think Test Tube started off <clears throat> a little bit rough at the beginning of the year. Like the first tube I got, I was not impressed at all. I was very disappointed. 
March was okay. It wasn't my favorite tube, but it wasn't the worst tube. And I definitely think that this tube has gotten back on like the right track. So I really like it. I hope everything works out. I'm very interested in the scar gel. <clears throat> Luckily, I haven't had any breakouts to really need scar gel right now, but um, that's like mainly why I use it. <laughs> okay. But that is all I had for today. And I can't believe it's already been two hours <laughs> uh, since I started going live. But we always have a blast on here. And I love that so much. We had great conversations. We had fun unboxings. <clears throat> we have some giveaways coming up. So I just need to film that. I need to film both giveaway um, videos. One for hitting 1K. I know I hit 1K a little while ago, but I've been working on a giveaway for that and then getting monetized. So that's going to be another upcoming giveaway. And then as we creep up to 2K, there will be another giveaway. Hopefully we'll have another giveaway in between. Um, just because, just, just because, because it's going to be summer and I think a surprise giveaway would be fun too. So I don't know. I might just throw one in a video or a live, who knows, <laughs> whatever's up my sleeve that day, you know? Oh, thank you, Gigi and love yourself. Have a good night, Lois. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys again for joining me on my live. It was a blast. I'm thinking of Friday around the same time. We're going to be doing a swatch party with all eight of these elf bite sizes. I haven't decided if I'm going to try them on my eyes as well or if we're just going to swatch and admire. But I think it would be fun putting them into action. Um, it's going to be really hard. <laughs> a little nerve wracking during your makeup uh, with being on a live, but hey, we're here to have fun. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, tomorrow we have the Mulan video. Um, <clears throat> you guys will see this eye get some red action. And then hopefully USPS comes through tomorrow with um, my shipment that's supposed to have arrived today um, for Thursday's video. If not, I'm going to have to come up with something new on Thursday. <laughs> so we'll see. <clears throat> thank you lisa have a great week too thank you tammy have a good night so thank you guys again this was such an amazing live and thank you again for helping me reach my milestone of monetization like i'm still in shock and i'll probably cry after i turn off this live because it's just so awesome like i never thought i would get there and i wanted to quit so many times but here we are. Monetize or not, I would still do YouTube because it's just so much fun connecting with you guys. You guys are amazing. And I just love this community. Like we were popping off in the comments. It was great. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Gigi. <clears throat> good night, Tishia. Have a good night, everyone. All right. I'm going to hit end stream. Going to go eat some dinner now. Take off my Joker lipstick that is falling off, but it's okay. It lasted two hours. <laughs> Bye, guys.